Okay, folks, this is something I found on the side of the road, which shouldn't have been on the side of the road. It should be recycled in a special facility. Um, it's very common and it's really a, a threat to our environment. But I've decided to pick it up and I'm going to put it in, take it, get it taken to a recycling de depot once this lockdown is over and I get some help with decluttering my unit but this is a real serious health problem should I say is an environmental problem environmental health so we got to fucking just wondering what we're going to do with this um, I think we're going to leave it on a hundred yeah we haven't set it up yet this rest of this I don't know how it's going to look. It's an interesting piece, but it's highly toxic to our environment. I have to do something about it. Um, okay, what is this thing I'm talking about? It is a circuit board. Okay, a, a circuit, a discarded circuit board. So I'm just going to show you folks uh, the front of it with all the components. So we'll just show you folks just i don't know much i'd like to learn about electronics i've always been fascinated with electronics and electricity but because i have brain damage i at birth i can't learn all this shit i can't study it the math all that There's a lot of math involved and this is the the uh, rear of it with all the soldering joints we'll just show that off just quickly well, I've got to be conscious that the photocopy is going to auto clear on me if I don't get to it now there you go so basically yeah this is a real problem when it comes to waste because it's so toxic you got solder which has got lead and there's all sorts of other shit you know that circuits have um, I'm gonna put it up this way but I just figured I'd make something out of this um, something useful and this will end up hopefully properly recycled when I get around when it gets around to it uh, just gonna try and put that against the edge like so but yeah it's a circuit board indeed it's a shame that this sort of shit gets doesn't get properly recycled so Wondering how big we're going to make it. I'm going to leave it on 100. Let's see how we go. That green looks really nice. I do like that colour. That colour green is just so evocative. Because in nature they have that green as well. And I'm a person who loves both nature and electronics. And I, I want to one day when they have technology for the brain damage to be able to learn how to build uh, photocopiers that are artificially intelligent and that are good for our planet so I want to make it I want to design a copier system that looks good that's good for our environment as well as being extremely useful and practical um, don't know how this is going to look how this is going to look as a, <laughs> a mirror image maybe you can enlarge a section perhaps I don't know um, that's a tough one. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to design stuff that's good for the planet as well as being user friendly and and good for the workers that the workers that build the equipment get paid a a little bit more than they're actually worth instead of being treated like slaves. And we don't want slave labor putting our equipment together. We want people who are being paid a proper wage, more than a proper wage. Now I think we can enlarge this a little bit less because we do want the silicon chips or I think are they silicon chips. I'm not I don't know as much about electronics as I'd like to folks. I really wish I could. Um, I really wish I could learn this stuff. But it will come to me one day. They'll have technology that'll fix me up. Because I had a cord around my neck and I came out feet first. 
and I do have reason to believe I was starved of oxygen and couldn't breathe and because I couldn't breathe I couldn't fucking well get the oxygen I needed and the oxygen was uh, starved out of me. Now I don't like the look of this. Uh, um, just wondering which one we're going with. I do think maybe 100% might be the better one. Uh, but basically, I do look forward to the day when they will have the uh, technology to fix this brain damage. I'd like to be fully functional so I can work with this stuff that I love and, and really get excited about. Making copier systems that last 60 years, made out of recycled mostly recycled materials and uh, making it last because it lasts 60 years it's better for the planet instead of making it last only 10 years or 5 years or whatever length of time a typical uh, photocopier lasts um, I actually think maybe we can use this as our uh, size I do think maybe I'm just trying to work it out folks I really want to make this a, a good a good demo um, not a shitty one but it's not an easy piece to uh, work with folks um, but basically I do want to make a difference and I want to I don't want these photocopiers to be made overseas like in places like China or Vietnam which is like what this was in large part made I want to make them in Australia I want to make everything Australian made and owned. Uh, I don't want anything f foreign. I want to keep all the jobs on our shores. And the only things I want to import are the are the e-waste from e-waste dumps because I really want to clean up the environment, not just here in Australia, but overseas in places like China and India who really need help to have their environment cleaned up and regenerated. So I want to regenerate things. I want to regenerate the environment, folks. So that's what I'd like to do. Instead of being a part of the problem, a part of the pollution, I want to be a part of the solution. And I don't want to be like all the other companies that don't care. I want to care. I really want to care. I do care, folks. And I want to do something about these pressing issues of our planet so let's see how that looks if that looks any good yeah that looks interesting I think now can we call it quits or is there any other way of arranging it I think it looks all right I think now we've got to go